This video is going to explain how to use the follow and unfollow module of Insta Daemon or Instagram Daemon. Uh, as you can see, that's where we are. Um, now over here, I'm, I'm going to blur out the account so you can't see uh, what the account is. Now, basically how this works is you have, uh, well, first we'll go through the general settings. Uh, you have the option to run multiple uh, tasks or multiple accounts at the same time if you're using proxies. If not, you can uncheck this and you can uh, choose how long it should wait before moving on to the next one. Um, right here, you have the option to repeat all tasks, uh, you know, have it, you know, start counting down uh, however long you specify over here uh, once the last task is finished and then uh, it'll automatically restart and down here if uh, if you check this then it will shuffle all of the tasks uh, before it starts over so it's not going in the same exact order okay so the follow tab uh, you have the option to check this and it will not follow people that the account has followed before uh, check this and it will not follow people that don't have a picture um, if you're following from a uh, a text file of usernames then you can check this and it'll shuffle that list uh, and you know follow people randomly now right here you can either check this box and use the maximum limit that Instagram gives you uh, and basically what that does is the the program will just keep on uh, following uh, until Instagram stops it or you can choose uh, how many people it should uh, follow on each account and then it'll pause uh, and you know go to the next task after uh, it it reaches that limit so for right here uh, this this delay is how long it should wait uh, before moving to the uh, the next user that it's gonna follow you can set this to however many seconds you want and then right here, this is a separate delay. Um, you want this to be higher. Uh, this is how many seconds it's going to start waiting uh, to follow the next person after it has already followed 15 people. Uh, so, you know, that it gives you uh, basically an extra layer of uh, security, you know, to make your accounts look more authentic. Okay, so over in the unfollow tab, we have... Uh, the option to protect mutual followers. Uh, you have the option to not unfollow users that you uh, specify as uh, a VIP in your VIP list. Um, you can choose right here how many uh, you know how many days it should wait before you know it unfollows them. So you know let's say you set it to three, then it will uh, it'll you know give that person three days to follow you back. Uh, you know before it, it it'll go and unfollow them. Uh, right here, you have the option to use the maximum limit, and it, you know that's like the following. Uh, if you ch if you uh, choose to use this option, it'll just keep on unfollowing uh, until Instagram stops it, or you can uh, limit by the percentage of the total following count. Uh, if you want to do that, just check this, and then you know choose what percentage you want, or uh, you can just not you know, not use a percentage or the max limit and just choose how many users uh, that it should unfollow for each task uh, or for each account, I should say. Okay, and last but not least down here is the delay for how many seconds it should wait before following uh, or, excuse me, unfollowing the, uh, the next user. So over here uh, for the tasks, you have follow from search result, you have uh, follow from a text file, you have follow from users image comments and you have unfollow so it's it's pretty self-explanatory when you select your task it'll it'll tell you what you need to put in the parameters like if you want to follow from a search result then over here you would just you know type in the keyword like uh, you know if you want to do an iPhone you can type an iPhone and uh, you know that's that's it now if you want to follow from a text file then you enter the the full uh, file path of that text file. Like let's say you have it on your desktop, uh, you know it'd be something like uh, I'm not sure what the exact format is without going and looking, but it's something like like this. Uh, I think it would be Windows, whoops, Windows users, uh, and then you know so on and, and desktop. But basically once once you get the um, 
the text file, make sure you add, like let, let's say it's uh, notepad. Uh, that's your the name of your text file. Make sure you add that dot text, the dot txt to the end of it. Uh, that way it can uh, you know read it. So that's uh, that's how it works for follow from a text file. Uh, for follow from users image comments, then you uh, what you put here is the URL of the image, not not their profile, uh, but the URL of the exact image. Um, you know, and then it'll go and it will follow the people who have commented on that image. And then down here, obviously, unfollow. Uh, it doesn't need any parameter for unfollow. So, you know, you just don't worry about it for that. And, um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's how the follow and unfollow module for Instagram Demon works. Uh, I hope this video helped explain things. And uh, thanks for watching.